Yesterday, Shannon Sharp dropped an explosive interview with Cat Williams on Club Shay Shay. And when I say explosive, I mean 10 million views in 24 hours. Listen, I don't know if you've been under a rock, but Cat Williams is on everyone's timeline right now on all social media platforms. And listen, he got everyone's attention, rightfully so. He addressed pretty much anybody and everybody. When I say anybody, everybody, I mean he name dropped Martin, Cedric the Entertainer, Kevin Hart, Jonathan Majors, Harvey Weinstein, Ludacris. I mean, the list goes on. If you haven't seen this interview, do yourself a favor. Head over to Club Shay Shay and watch the full interview, man. Already starting the year off strong with the best interview of the year in the first week. Shout out to Shannon Sharp. Like I said, 10 million in 24 hours. That's crazy. It goes to show that Cat Williams, he definitely has impact when it comes to the culture. And everyone is tuned in to hear what Cat has to say. So today we got a list of comedians reacting to Cat Williams' explosive interview. Yes, and when I say we got a list of comedians, we talking some of your favorites, man. So let's get right into some of these reactions from some of your favorite comedians. First up, we're going to go with Kevin Hart, because he started off early this morning via Twitter, responding to Cat Williams with his post that reads, Gotta get that anger up out you, champ. It's honestly sad. In the meantime, please enjoy my movie trailer to my next film, Lift, which will be dropping on Netflix in eight days. There is a moment in the trailer where Goo says, they really love you. I know now she's talking about Cat. Laughing emoji. Mark your calendars, world. This one is special. Next up, we got Tiffany Haddish. She responded in one of the posts on IG. Her comment says, I am not mad. I just wish he would get his facts right about me. Dang, I guess I will send him a reminder text. But are we sure that is Cat Williams? He looks a lot like Charleston White. Next up, comedian Gary Owen, he said, I watched the Cat William interview on Shannon Sharp, and I still don't know if I was getting respected or disrespected. I kept going, wait, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Gary would then respond to a fan via Twitter saying, my mouth and booty hole have never been violated, so there's that. Michael Blackson also responded to Cat Williams saying, Cat Williams is a very smart midget nigga. He took shots at the top 10 comedians alive today, so we can all respond and make him relevant again. Brandon T. Jackson responded to Cat Williams' comments about Big Mama's house saying, no matter what they say, the most high put me where I am, period. Never did nothing strange for a piece of change. Hashtag no casting couch. The legendary George Wallace responded saying, just want to take a moment to apologize for anything I've ever said or done or thought about saying or doing to Cat Williams or to anyone Cat has ever known and what not. <laughs> Listen, no one wants to smoke with Cat right now, man. Like I said, a lot of people are giving their reaction. Even Joe Rogan moments ago responded saying, Listen, I love Cat. He's one of my favorite comics and I love to have him on. We talk about him all the time, and if he's down, I'll make it happen. Comedian Faze on Love, he been sending shots at Cat Williams all day via IG, posting, you know, old clips of Cat Williams and some of the most wildest moments he's had over, you know, the years with his career. Uh, yeah, it's obvious, man. This interview has struck a nerve in some some of your favorite comedians. That's that's obvious. And, of course, even if you weren't offended, man, a lot of people just entertain. Cause this is definitely... A classic interview and um, I also think Faison did an interview with all the dialogue earlier today given his exclusive response to Cat Williams I seen the title it says something like you know he called Cat Williams the most uh, overrated comedian of all time look my man he posted a 911 call to Cat Williams like I said he, he going at it with Cat today man so y'all check out his response to um, Cat Williams also comedian Ali Sadiq posted this video he said he want to step in the ring with Cat Williams. Yes, you heard that correctly. He said he want to throw the hands with Cat in the ring for charity. As you see here on the screen, the post reads, Don't say anything until Cat Williams invites Ali Sadiq to this hallway or ring. Don't say shit until you say something to me. Remember the unknown brother. I am not a 12-year-old boy or a woman. What up? Proceeds can go to a literacy program. Oh, yeah, Steve Harvey. Tell him to catch me out in the ring or the streets. Let's work it out. You can have all the money. 
you're going to need it because if you accept the ring or the hallway, you will be on a slow drip after either incident so you can have the money. Comedian Red Grant, who was also one of Cat Williams' closest friends, he responded via IG with a post that reads, Thanks, Cat Williams, for letting people know it's truth over white lies. My campaign is based on the truth to expose the political lies. We have to hold our political leaders accountable until they tell the truth, until it becomes a part of their nature. Purpose over popularity. Hashtag Grant at large. All right. Now, again, that was a list of comedians reacting to Cat Williams' explosive interview on Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp. Like I said, it's been a Cat Williams takeover for the last past 24 hours. The way the timeline is looking, I'm sure this will carry well over into the weekend. But like I said, man, Cat Williams, he uh, name dropped a lot of people, a lot of people, spoke on a lot of topics. Uh, and already, I believe this is easily one of the best interviews of the year. Of course, we can call it number one, but let's be honest. This is the first week of 2024, and already, Cat Williams, you know, he wants smoke, man. He done, he done spent the block. He said, listen, I got receipts, you know, exposing people, stealing jokes. Any narrative that uh, pretty much has existed when it comes to Cat Williams' career over the years, Cat Williams is back and saying, listen, y'all will not play with my legacy. Y'all will not rewrite me out of, you know, comedy history when it comes to the to the legends and the ghosts. Just acknowledge the fact that I'm here. I'm independent. I'm not going anywhere. You know, I understand that. I feel that energy because you work so hard. And if you allow your enemies to tell the story, it says if you did, you did nothing. I understand that energy. And, and, and because of that is why the people are standing with Cat Williams. And it just, it feels good to see my man Cat up right now. You know what I mean? Popping his shit, getting everything off his chest. Because like I said, now that, you know, everything has been put out there on the table. And again, we got to keep in mind, he's a comedian, right? So all of this is entertainment. However, when you when you really look at stand-up comedy, like I said, man, the, the, the gang really needs all of the goats, the legends to come together and somehow, you know, pass that knowledge down to the next generation of comedians who, you know, let's be honest, they don't have a deaf comedy jam to help launch their careers, right? They have social media and it's, it's, it's a, you know what I mean? It's, it's an uphill battle. Everyone's competing for eyes and ticket sales. And honestly, you know, to really master their craft, why not surround yourself amongst the greats? But with all of the division, how could that ever happen? Yes, people are right in defending their name, and we get that. But now that the dust is settled, we can't keep on with the division, right? Let's get past it. Let's come together. Let's get this money. Let's be independent. Let's own our content and really crack the code, right? Really figure out the formula and stop letting the system pit us against each other. You know what I mean? A part of that is stand on code. So let's do that. Y'all let me know your thoughts on these reactions by some of these comedians. Who you think had the best reaction? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace. We did not go Kings of Carmen. It's your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Toronto, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You know, I know me old you from the White Stand Carnivals. I didn't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The f wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the f that meat is. Yeah. In prison. That's not the, the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't help him. I said, ain't no point in both of us getting. Look him right in his eyes. He go to pat me down. $20, homeboy. I'm like, no, <laughs> sir.
out with punch loud, punch loud, punch loud. Get out of the car. Give me some. Yeah.